What is going on guys? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night pretty soon here, but I wanted to fire up the camera and uh, film what is probably a very long overdue update on the CNC project. Uh, I know I posted maybe the last update a little over two years ago and uh, since then have been relatively silent on this. Uh, other than a couple of building tips videos recently and maybe a picture or video clip here or there on Instagram. Uh, I really haven't kept up with uh, the updates or the documentation of this build uh, anywhere near what I wanted to. Uh, when I started this build, I really had intentions of documenting uh, maybe not every little process, but you know most of the bigger ones. And uh, at the very least, posting it on a thread at Joe's CNC Forum. I know a lot of guys that build these do that. And uh, I wanted to do that as well, but you know it kind of got down to being so busy uh, with not only trying to get this together, but doing everything else, uh, that I really didn't have the time, uh, to start, you know, getting into that aspect of documenting everything with pictures, videos, editing, so on and so forth. So, uh, I will try to, uh, hopefully do some after videos. Uh, I do want to give some more detailed information, uh, on some of the individual aspects of this machine and the build. Uh, for instance, I did build my own Z-slide, so I want to give a little bit more detail on what I did there. Uh, had to do something a little bit different with the limits, uh, so I want to make a video on that. Uh, and I'd also kind of like to make a video on uh, some of the mistakes or kind of trials and tribulations uh, that I had while building this. Uh, you know, that kind of required a little bit more research or... Uh, maybe even ingenuity uh, to get through so uh, you know stay tuned for those I can't say when I'll get around to those uh, I do want to get the machine at least running probably before I get too much more involved in uh, some videos and editing and such but uh, at the very least uh, I did want to give a little bit of update of where I'm at now uh, now I have tried to make a couple of these videos in the past uh, Needless to say, they didn't make it up to the channel or the forum. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but, you know, hopefully this one makes it. And I guess if you're watching it, it did. So uh, where I'm at now, you can see the machine is mostly finished, mostly together. Uh, I've kind of been spending the majority of the last week or two uh, kind of getting to know Mach 3 a little bit and getting everything kind of tuned up and connected to the computer. Uh, had a little bit of issues there, uh, which again, I'll make a more detailed video on that. But uh, long story short, uh, I ended up figuring that I should get a dedicated machine. I had this old Sony Vio desktop, uh, you know, which probably would have worked, but it seemed like it was a little glitchy and uh, maybe a little bit underpowered uh, for what I wanted. So ended up getting a dedicated uh, HP desktop and actually the monitor matching was kind of an accident. I uh, bought it all separately, but you know, for just under a hundred bucks, I got a dedicated machine that's kind of leaps and bounds above what this one was. Uh, but again, long story short, it had the wrong operating system on it, the wrong version of Windows, uh, which come to find out is not compatible with Mach 3. And again, I'll kind of make probably a separate video altogether on that with a little bit more detail on uh, what the issues were and what I had to do. But uh, it took me at least a couple days, uh, if not three or four, uh, to kind of get everything squared up there. And uh, I do finally kind of have everything uh, working, I believe. Uh, I did have some booting issues. Uh, which I think was maybe more to do with how the computer was initially set up before it came to me. Uh, so hopefully I've resolved those. And uh, I think things should be good from that end. Uh, so I've got my limits set. Uh, got my motors kind of roughly tuned. I might refine that a little bit more. Got my soft limits, hard limits. Uh, all the axes, uh, so on and so forth. So there's a few more things to set in there. Uh, before it's all said and done, but that should at least uh, get me close enough to start doing the next step, uh, which will be to kind of true up this top. So what I've got here now, just two three-quarter inch layers of MDF. Uh, these are going to be kind of like the secondary base 
uh, or kind of an auxiliary base and then I'll have kind of the final finished base uh, to go on top of this layer after I true it up. So uh, I guess the next step will be to maybe find the flattest uh, quote unquote truest spot to kind of rough tram or square everything up with. Uh, then I'll probably do a light skim pass, uh, get a final tramming or squaring uh, at least as close as I can. And then the final top with the T-Tracks uh, will go into place. So I'll have 10 rows of T-Track uh, from one end to the other full length of the table. Uh, they'll be a little more than 5 inches apart. Uh, I'd like them closer, but I didn't want to spend, you know, 200 bucks on T-Track. And, you know, for the way I'm going to be setting up, that should be plenty for now. Uh, and then after the T-Tracks kind of in place, I'll have some half-inch MDF to go in between each row. And uh, the final idea uh, will be not necessarily to have that as my sacrificial board or top, but to kind of use some intermediate pieces uh, on top of the T-Track. Uh, maybe some half-inch scraps or quarter-inch. Uh, still kind of working all that out, but uh, again, the next step is to true everything up, get the top finished. Uh, and then I could, uh, should kind of be able to start uh, putting some programs in and making some dust or some chips. Uh, now, all that said, uh, you know, I'm going to have to spend definitely some time learning uh, not only Mach 3 uh, or maybe a little bit of G-Code or coding, uh, CAD and CAM. I'm um, fairly comfortable with CAD software. I've got some experience with that. Uh, not as much on the CAM side, uh, you know, creating tool paths and uh, setting coordinates up and things like that. So uh, I'm going to have to spend some time with that, uh, kind of stumbling my way through that a little bit. Uh, and then uh, I'll probably pick a couple of projects here or there to kind of get started with. And uh, I'm hoping to maybe start making some money with this thing. And then uh, if I can start doing that, uh, there will be some upgrades coming uh, probably pretty quickly to this machine. Uh, and I could probably make a little bit more in-depth video on that as well. Uh, but one thing I do want to do probably sooner than later is replace these V-rails with some hardened, uh, or rather these angle iron rails with some hardened V-rails. Uh, I can already see where they're starting to burr up a little bit in spots. Uh, so that'll be one upgrade. Uh, eventually, I'd like a dedicated dust collection system. Uh, that probably won't be for a while. In the meantime, I'll use a shop vac. Uh, and then ultimately, I'd probably like to get some kind of a more waterproof uh, or coolant-proof top, uh, whether that's a layer of HDPE, uh, some aluminum plate, uh, or what have you. I haven't decided yet, but... Uh, I don't think the MDF is going to cut it uh, if I want to start doing like aluminum and uh, things that may require a little bit more coolant uh, to give better finishes and tool life. So uh, that'll be well well down the road. But, uh, you know, for now, uh, I'm just kind of buttoning up some little details on the machine itself. Uh, and then I think what will kind of be the more time consuming part, again, is just getting that top trued up and finished out. Uh, to where I can start mounting some fixtures and uh, kind of figuring that part out. So uh, I think I'm going to call that good, uh, at least for now, for an update. Uh, again, I certainly want to do some more detailed videos on kind of how I've set this machine up, uh, some different things I've done, uh, maybe slightly different than others, or at least, you know, how I kind of made it my own. And uh, I definitely want to make a video on uh, kind of some of the issues uh, maybe that I had. Uh, if I can help others avoid it, uh, I think that'd be good. So uh, maybe stay tuned for those. Uh, but maybe for now, uh, this will quench a little bit of anybody's appetite who might have been following along since a couple years ago. Again, I'm sorry for the delay uh, or lack of too many updates there. Uh, but hopefully as I get this thing going, there should be some more videos uh, kind of pouring forth there, uh, you know, as I kind of learn how to uh, use this thing and uh, figure things out. So uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching, uh, for putting up with my ramblings, and uh, we will see you on the next one.